back to a new video. In today's video, we're all going to chat about how to build healthy habits in 2024. I did a video like this about a year ago but in today's video we're gonna go a little bit deeper in how to really set yourself up for success and how to really build motivation consistency i've implemented these habits into my life it did not only change the way i showed up for myself how i show up as a wife how i show up in my work and i just really wanted to share that with you because i don't think i've ever felt better and all of these healthy habits are easy to implement and are often also free so i want you to take a little moment and think about how powerful a decision can be. Think about a moment in your life that you made a decision that completely drastically changed your life. It can be a small decision, it can be big. Isn't it incredible that one decision completely changed your life and put you on a different path? So I almost want you to get into this video thinking about the decision that you are going to make for yourself and that you are able to make for yourself because at the end you are the one in charge of your own life and the way you show up and I want you to think about what this decision after this video is going to be and how this is going to change your life, your well-being and the way you show up for yourself. I do really think to make any changes it is so important to actually think like where you are at right now and where do you want to go. How does that woman or man looks like? What does she do? What does her morning look like? What does she wear? How is she showing up? What are her boundaries? If you are taking a little moment and thinking about this and you can really visualize where you want to be, it's going to be so much easier to actually get there because clarity is power. I'm going to get started now on to my hair. It's so greasy. It's disgusting. I didn't bring any shampoo here. Anyway, my number one thing for a healthy habit is creating a morning routine. You guys know how important a morning routine is for me. I feel these are even my highest performed videos of all time. But the reason why a morning routine is so important is because it really sets the tone for your day. This is a moment that you can dedicate to your self-care. You know, whenever we're in school or working or we are a mom, like it is so busy throughout the day and the early, early mornings is the only time that we can actually dedicate time to ourselves. There are a couple of things in the morning routine that are for me personally a non-negotiable and here's the thing do i hit everything every day i don't but do i keep this routine as my base yes i do do i feel so much better when i actually follow it and i'm able to do this on a consistent basis yes because i feel one of the biggest things that people say or ask me is like how do you stay motivated where do you get motivation and i'm just going to be completely honest Motivation is not something that just comes. Motivation and consistency, guys, is something you need to practice and you need to build. It's like looking at the certain habits and rituals that really serve you and coming back to these. That is what is going to give you the motivation. For me in my morning routine, I keep it very simple. I always drink a lot of water to stay hydrated first thing in the morning. I will take five minutes to do some type of mindfulness, whether that is a little bit of breath work or I do a little bit of meditation or I do five minute journal, it doesn't matter. I will take a couple of minutes to do this because it just changes my whole mindset of the day. I will have my caffeine a little later, at least 60 minutes, I will wait. It will honestly help so much more with my energy levels throughout the day. I will find some type of movement, whether this is a stretch, walking outside or an actual workout, I will always try to get some movement in the morning. And I know there is gonna be people who are gonna be commenting and saying, Oh, it's easy for you, you have time. I do absolutely not agree with that because even if I need to show up at 8 a.m. at the office or I need to go somewhere, I will wake up earlier. I will wake up at 6 a.m. or sometimes a little bit later to be able to actually do this. So it's just about making it a priority and I truly believe a good morning routine will help you set up in such a better way. 
Then number two is get your sunlight in the morning. Get 10 minutes of sunlight. It is so important. I don't know if you guys follow um, Andrew Huberman. He is a neuroscientist and a professor at Stanford University. He does so much research and can't stop talking about this. And I've honestly noticed such a big difference. When you get that sunlight first thing in the morning, it helps regulate your sleep cycle which we'll tap in a little bit after this, how important sleep is. Also, the light will immediately give you a boost of serotonin, which will really help in your mood. It will also help regulate your melatonin, which is another sleep hormone. I sometimes even like open up the door and I will just be like with my like matcha or coffee just sitting outside or walking, however you want to do it, but get a little bit of sunlight in the morning is so 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 important actually on your face even if you live somewhere where it's very dark and gray i would still recommend getting outside and getting some type of light so so important in the summer this is a habit we can literally all do so try to implement it right now already our third thing is get enough sleep i feel we always talk about hours of sleep which is like minimum of eight but i think we don't talk about lot about the quality of your sleep that sometimes the quality is more important than the quantity it is really important to get REM sleep which is a deep sleep and into a cycle if you have a hard time getting to bed or if you have a hard time getting that like deep sleep these are a couple of things that have really really helped me first of all i have my aura ring you guys know i love my aura ring this way i can actually track my sleep and tracking my sleep i immediately see which type of habits have worked i also got an eight sleep mattress that i can regulate the heat on which is unbelievable at night it will cool down a little bit and it actually helps me go into a deeper sleep but if you have a hard time falling asleep one of the biggest things that i would suggest is turning the lights off already like two hours before you're going to bed because if you have a lot of lights your body just truly does not know if it's day or night low caffeine after 2 p.m is a really big one even though we sometimes can still sleep after having caffeine that's me i can have two espressos and i go to bed i can literally see in my sleep data that i'm not hitting that deep sleep that rem sleep is really where you are dreaming when your creativity starts so that's why that deep sleep is really really important also taking supplements i always travel with my travel pouch and i always have magnesium let's see where is it i always have magnesium with me these are these little packets which are also amazing for recovery i would highly recommend getting magnesium into your routine every night before you're going to bed i even travel with it i love the brand symbiotica i also love the brand moon juice has really really good ones i also really enjoy having a sleep tea before i like this one from yogi tea that just like kind of calms me down i love cbd i love this little cbd roller with an essential oil and one tip that is not actually a product but what really helped me is kind of like a mind dump i don't know if you're over but sometimes I can be an overthinker. When I lay in bed, my to-do list just keeps on going in my head. The thing that has helped me and a habit that I did is right before I go to bed, I actually grab my calendar and I will write, ooh, and I will write down my to-do list for the next day and kind of anything that's on my mind. And it really helps me put almost like a brain dump in my little book so that when I go to bed, my mind is clear because that is for tomorrow what I need to think about. I feel everyone always talks about scheduling and planning and journaling in the morning, but for me doing that at night for a couple minutes, game changer, absolute game changer. I don't know if this is really helping for my greasy hair. <laughs> you know, we're gonna brush it a little. Also, the lighting here is absolutely horrendous. We're gonna show you that sign. It's very cloudy at the moment. It's very calming. Very calming in the woods. Um, so my next tip would be build a consistent fitness routine. I cannot express enough how important this is. Dedicating time and investing time and money into your fitness routine is going to help you in so many aspects of your life and not just your physical body it will help the way you show up 
as a mom, as a friend, as a partner because your mood will be better, you will actually feel more energized, you will be in less pain, your body will feel stronger and I think that is almost like more important than just... So building a... <laughs> Building a consistent workout routine is so important and you have to be realistic here and really on a Sunday look at your schedule and see what type of workouts would fit into your week. I personally love to do it in the morning first thing because then you're just done with it. It's like check mark off you kind of have that really good feeling and that energy for the rest of your day if you're wanting to start pilates and you just don't really know where to start following a plan is literally one of the best things you can do i actually mentioned this in an earlier vlog but in january 1st i created a 28 day pilates beginner program in this program we're really starting at the basics so if you've never done pilates really focusing on building that posture that form the fundamentals and then over the four weeks we're slowly kind of building it up my goal of this program is not only to get you moving and get you feeling good but it's really your moment to build that consistency and motivation we'll have a geneva app where we can chat with each other and really keep each other accountable but you just every time need to think about when it comes down to your fitness is how are you feeling after and changing your physical state will also completely change your mental state Okay, I'm sitting outside here and I am so freezing. I need to go inside. I thought it was going to be a little warmer, but it's because the sun is not there. Okay, there we go. Sorry guys, I had to, <laughs> I had to put a head on. I'm going to look at my dirty hair. Also, I have a little mess up behind here because we are traveling tomorrow. However though, my number five tip is having a wholesome nutrient dense diet and again this is not only just for the body this is also for your skin for your mood for your energy levels everything around it my biggest thing is just to start with home cooked meals so you know exactly what kind of ingredients you're actually putting into your food and having a high protein diet it is i feel something that's come way more to the attention right now like how important having enough protein actually is whatever your goals are if it's losing weight building strength, building muscle or balancing your hormones, protein is key in any type of way it keeps you full it gives you energy obviously it builds muscle so it's so so important i feel this has been something really that i've gotten into last year and have been really adding a lot more protein into my diet and really focusing on protein rich breakfasts and having lunch and dinner um there are two protein powders that i personally like so sometimes give a little boots it's the ritual protein powder vanilla and then i also like the brand Trufani. so this is a really easy and quick way to just like bump up that protein a little bit and i also think something really important is to really start reading nutrition labels if you buy something in the store that has been packaged and you look on the back if you can't read the ingredients pronounce them it is a no-go i would highly recommend mainly foods that you can just buy as a whole then another habit that I think is extremely, extremely powerful is looking at the way you talk to yourself and practicing gratitude. We're often ourselves biggest critics and your words do mean something. Also, what we're focusing on is what we will feel. If we're focusing on the negatives, if we're focusing on the failures, if we're focusing on toxic people or problems, that is what we're going to feel. We're going to feel sad we're gonna feel anger we're gonna feel emotional we're gonna feel pain obviously we want to have the opposite so focusing on the positive on the optimistic on the things that you're actually grateful for will shift your day will shift your mindset and everything around it honestly there's been a study there is a certain amount i don't even know what it is if you make above this amount like financially it does not do anything with your happiness levels and i feel also a lot of people think that right oh if i'm wealthy oh if i have money then i will be happy well i can tell you this a lot of very rich people i know are completely and very unhappy with themselves with their lives so i feel practicing gratitude is the number one thing 
for a happy and fulfilled life. I wake up in the morning and I will do a little gratitude practice. It's something I really learned during our Tony Robbins experience. I will actually share a little bit more about that in another video, I, I promise. But practicing gratitude will really help you focus on the positive things and the good things in life and I feel that's where you're going to feel positivity, that's what you put out into the world so that is something that will kind of come back to you. And then my last little tip is take cold showers. I know this is, I don't know, sometimes painful, especially in the winter, but this is a habit that will really help you build consistency and will help you build resilience. When you take a cold shower, it immediately gets that blood flow going. It will give you immediately energy. And if this is something you will do over and over and over, it becomes a habit for you. It will become consistency. And again, this is where you build that self-confidence and where you're actually really starting to feel yourself. When it comes to self-confidence, I feel that's something very often we try to find from our external world, right? What other people think of us, how we present ourselves to others, but at the end, your self-esteem comes from within. Almost having these little mini challenges for yourself and just accomplishing them and like doing them and keeping yourself accountable that is where you're going to build self-confidence. That's why I love working out so much. That's why I love all these little habits because if I'm able to do this, this is where I'm actually starting to feel good. I'm starting to feel good about myself and the rest will, the rest will follow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I want 2024 to be your year where you show up for yourself, feel healthy, all of that. I will link everything that I talked about today in the video down below. Again, our Pilates beginner program starts January 1st, which I'm super excited about. And we'll have also a gut reset meal plan. Following week, I will lay all the groundwork for you. All you need to do is just follow and build those healthy habits. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Uh, I'm happy to answer anything and I hope to see you very soon. Much love, happy new year.